Foods are mainly divided into two main categories. One, non-animal foods, and two, animal foods. In this lesson, we will be discussing animal foods. Animal foods are divided into three groups. Those that live in the sea, those that live on the land, and birds. As for fish that live in the sea, it has a few conditions in order for it to be halal, permissible to eat. One, the fish must be caught alive when taken out of the water. So that means if you caught a fish and it was already dead, then it's not permissible to eat. It doesn't matter how you catch the fish, whether with a fishing rod, a net, a trap, your hand, or even if the fish had jumped out of the water onto land and you caught it before it died, then it is halal. The person that catches the fish does not need to be Muslim, nor is there any requirement as to how the fish should be killed once it is caught. 2. According to most Shia jurists, the fish must also have scales on it to be halal, with the exception of shrimp and prawns. So that means oysters, lobsters, crabs, octopus, sharks, squid, eels and so on are haram, impermissible to eat. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir has said, Eat any fish that has scales, and do not eat what does not have scales. When you are buying canned fish from the supermarket, one should make sure it is fish that has scales. As for animals that live on the land, it also has a few conditions in order for it to be halal to eat. The animal must be alive and slaughtered or hunted according to the Islamic manner. This will be explained in a separate video. The animal must be of a permissible type. Permissible types of animals are divided into domesticated animals and wild animals. Among the domesticated animals that are halal to eat are sheep, goats, cows and camels only after they have been slaughtered in an Islamic manner. It is makruh, not recommended, to eat the meat of a horse, mule or donkey. Among the wild animals that are halal to eat are deer, buffalo, mountain goats and mountain sheep only after they have been hunted and killed according to Islamic rulings. If for some reason any of these animals that are halal eat excrement of humans, then the animal is not permissible to eat unless it goes through a purification process. From all these halal animals, certain parts of the body are haram to eat. The blood that comes out of the body when the animal is killed is haram. Also, any excess blood that remains in the meat after slaughtering beyond the normal amount is haram. Droppings, the private parts, the uterus, glands, spinal cord, the nerves on either side of the spinal column, gall bladder, spleens, urinary bladder, and the iris of the eye are all haram to eat. Predators, rodents, reptiles, elephants, monkeys, pigs, dogs, bears and the like are all haram to eat. According to the school of Ahlul Bayt, rabbits are also haram to eat. As for birds, there are birds that are halal to eat and there are birds that are haram to eat. Birds that are haram to eat are all birds of prey that have claws or talons like eagles, falcons, hawks and vultures. Also, all types of crows are haram to eat based on obligatory precaution. Every bird that glides more than it flaps its wings and has talons is haram to eat. Therefore, the birds that flap their wings more than they glide are halal to eat. However, if you can't distinguish if it glides or flaps its wings more than the other, then look to see if it has a crop or a gizzard or a spur at the back of its feet. If it has any of these, then it is halal to eat. Therefore, chickens and turkeys are halal to eat. If it doesn't have any of these, then it is haram to eat. All halal birds must be slaughtered or hunted according to the Islamic manner before you eat them. These rules will be explained in a separate video. It is makruh, not recommended, to kill hoopoes and swallows. As for birds that don't have feathers, such as bats, they are haram to eat. The same parts that are haram to eat in land animals are also haram in birds as an obligatory precaution. 